Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And uh, I've been excited to do this review. This is a really cool piece of gear. So we're going to be taking a look at today the Maxpedition Monkey Combat Admin Pouch. This admin pouch uh, was designed by Monkey himself of Milspec Monkey. I'm sure all of you are familiar with that website. Uh, in collaboration with Maxpedition. So this was his first design for any kind of pouch and uh, it's a great one. So good job, Monkey. <laughs> this is a really, really nice admin pouch. And uh, just right off the bat, you're going to notice it looks a lot different than most of the ones on the market today, but in a very good way. So this is a really cool little uh, pouch. Now, it's an admin pouch. This, will, this is designed to be carried on uh, the front of your plate carrier, if you're in the military. It's designed to go on the front of your plate carrier or your TAC vest, uh, LBE, whatever you want to call it. But it goes on the front of your vest, up on the higher portion right under your chin. And what it's designed for is just to give soldiers and uh, law enforcement the capability of accessing um, a few little everyday handy uh, tools and gadgets easily. As you know, you're wearing your vest, your plate carriers, you have your backpack that you can't take off and access readily. You're going to want quick access to a few little tools, you know, screwdrivers, flashlights, pens, maybe your ID. Um, flashlights, batteries, you know, just average uh, kind of EDC things. That's, you would carry it in this. But like most Maxpedition products and tactical gear in general, if you're a civilian like myself, you just get creative. You come up with other uses, you know. Um, Edge Weapon 88 uses this in his car, throws it in his glove box. You can do it like that. Put this on the front of your backpacks. Of course, it does have the Molly webbing. It's on the front of any one of your backpacks. It'd be a great little addition. Uh, throw it in your backpack because it's so slim. It's just going to slip right into most of the pockets in your backpack. Use it as a standalone um, organizer. Just a really nice little pouch. All right, so let me get down to this review. Of course, like most Maxpedition products, is made of 1,000 denier lightweight ballistic nylon. And like all Maxpedition gear, it has the triple coating of DuPont polyurethane. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make this water resistant, dirt and grime, and abrasion resistant. This pack is going to stay clean. It's not going to um, rough up. Like if it, you know, you're in a, using this really hard, it's not going to get all scuffed up and frayed and anything like that. And also, if it gets dirty, this stuff, this Max Expedition products are amazing. If it gets any kind of dirt on it, it usually just brushes off. It does not seep into the material because it is um, heavily coated in that polyurethane. You guys should just take a cup of water, like Such does in his reviews, pours off, and it just rolls off the pack. Now, the only thing that is going to get wet are these additional nylon straps, because those are not coated. So, other than that, you know, same Maxpedition quality. That's what makes this so, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty rigid. More rigid than most of your admin pouches or um, pieces of nylon gear in general. Um, so, let's just get over the dimensions right quick. Uh, the dimensions of this pack, um, empty. The overall is uh, 7 inches long or tall, six and a half inches wide by one and a half inch thick. Now, you can see on the exterior of it, you do have these two large um, compression straps, both on either side. So it's keeping this pack really thin. Now, obviously, you can <laughs> heavily load this thing out, and it's going to expand to about three inches, I'd say. You can see it. It expands if you want it to. That's about, what, two and a half, three inches? So, that's just the empty dimensions of it. But, I like that because it keeps this real thin. So, if you don't want to put a whole lot of stuff in this, and you are wearing this on your chest or putting it in your pack, uh, it's not going to be very uh, bulky. So, on the exterior, you notice it has a ton of hook and loop, which I love. A lot of people don't. I don't understand why, personally. Because it really gives you a lot of options to personalize yours, like I did mine. So, it is Velcro brand loop material on the front. That is the best brand you can get. So it almost covers the entire front of this pouch, um, which, like I said, I like, because it gives you a lot of options to put your uh, morale patches, which I love. So you can also put your name tapes up here, your call sign patches. Maybe you do Airsoft. You can put your team logo on there. And it just gives you a lot of versatility, and I really like that. So also on the front here, you have what they call their map slash ID sleeve. So what you do is you just grab this uh, nylon pull tab here, and it's hook and loop closure. Just give it a firm tug. And like I said, it's hook and loop all the way around. And it gives you this very nice little map slash ID sleeve. 
Very easy to put your ID in here, or a small map. Very, very thick vinyl on here, so it is not cheap stuff. Um, uh, the dimensions of this are five inches long by four and a half inches wide, so you're not gonna put big maps in here. Like I said, this is designed to be worn on your chest, so if you're in the military, pull this down, you show your ID, uh, maybe put your driver's license in here. If you carry this in your car, you put your vehicle registration in here, uh, insurance information. That would just be a really handy way to carry it if you were using it as a civilian. Like I said, put your military ID in there, maybe your civilian ID, whatever. But you're not going to be able to put a very big map in here. If you were going to put a map in here, you would use it probably a small trail map. Um, if you're going to a mountain, like a small mountain, put a map in here or um, geocaching. Uh, you print out a map quest image online, cut it out, put it in there. So you're not going to be able to put very large maps in there, but that's okay. It's not entirely what it was designed for, but of course you can use it as that. All right, so the front, main, the front flap here is how you get it open, and there's no pull tab, but that's all right because uh, all the stress points of this pack are double stitched, like most Max Vision's products. So you can see the edges right here are double stitched. So it creates this little lip. So it's very easy to get into, but uh, of course it's hook and loop, so it's not going to open if you don't want it to. It's pulled open. Now one disadvantage I do want to mention if you're in the military, uh, sometimes you have to be quiet, and uh, Velcro is not quiet. So you may want to overlook this product if you have to be in a, you have to be quiet a lot. You know, you're in an environment where you can't make a lot of noise. You're not going to want to open this up. You might want to look to an admin pouch with a zipper. So, or just don't open it. But, so this is not quiet to open. Just want to th give you guys a heads up for that. Alright, so first of all, when you open this up, it's neat because it just flaps over. So it's very easy to open it up and get into your stuff. So, very nice. You do have this, you know, if you're carrying this on your chest, this would be up against your chest. A very large front slip pocket. There are no organization in there. It's just a slip pocket. Put documents in there. Perhaps, you know, a map in there. Carry a map. Uh, paperwork. Things like that. Um, but that slip pocket is 7 inches long by 5.5 inches wide. The um, main pocket, I guess you can call it, is uh, 6 inches wide by 6 inches deep. You can see it is very deep in there. And it does have a uh, grommeted drainage hole in that pocket right there. So if you carry something liquid in there, just going to drain out. Don't worry. What we have here are um, three very wide and long little uh, bungee straps. Let's see down there. It'd be easier. It's hard to get some light in here. Sorry about that. Uh, on both sides, you have three on both sides. So that's very nice to organize your stuff. And I'll show you a little bit later some things you can put in here, some options. But just a very nice little main pocket. All right. Next, you have uh, what they call their secret sealed pocket. And it has these two offset thick nylon straps. And it's a hook and loop closed uh, pocket. So that's very cool. So you open it up. It's got the hook and loop. No organization, but that's just stuff to store your valuables. You know, if you have a wedding ring, throw it in there. You don't want to lose it. Uh, maybe put your ID, some money in there, just wallet, just things you do not want to lose because it's hook and loop. You're not going to get that open unless you <laughs> give it a little bit of a, give it some uh, incentive, <laughs> a little bit of persuasion, if you will. So that's very nice. Um, the sealed pocket is six by six, just like the main pocket, just with no organization. But I, I really like that. And it's very easy to get to, even if you have it up against your chest. You know, it's very easy to uh, get into it. Uh, the second pocket here is your front pocket. And that's going to be six by five and a half. So, you, so, as you can see, because it stops here, so it's six inches deep by five and a half inches wide. And uh, like the rear one, you have the three elastic straps there for organization. They're the same exact size, but you don't have on the front. So you just have three, whereas the rear pocket has six. So, very nice. And last but not least, you have this small little mini pocket right here on the front, which is uh, the dimensions. It just it right, sits right behind the um, hook material right here. And uh, that pocket is five inches wide by two inches deep. So, you know, you can throw things in there like uh, some spare batteries, just small little items, but um, you want to be careful what you put in there because it might kind of fly out if you have this open. 
you know, if you give this a firm tug, something might pop out, so. But just, you know, it's a little, it's a little small, put small tools in there. It's a nice option. So, very nice. Alright, and here's how it looks with some things in it. You can see it's a little bit thicker, but still not fully compressed, still not uh, fully expanded. And glow stick on the side and those two elastic loops. Of course, you can also, like I said, put um, a pen in there, flashlight, um, maybe even like a Cubiton, something like that. Let's open it up. You can see back here in the uh, in the front pocket, you got a double stack pistol magazine. Um, some combat gauze, and um, you can see there is still a lot of room in there, and I still did not use up all of the straps. So I'm just giving you a basic overview of uh, so a few things that you could carry in here and how it would look. See down here is a flashlight, got a knife, um, a big zip tie rolled up. So it's just you know I'm just giving you a basic overview of some things that you could put in there and uh, how it would look, but you can see that there's still a ton of room. Um, if you watch the uh, the Milspec Monkey video of this, you'll see that he put two 30-round uh, magazines for an M4 in here. So, this pack is, um, is very capable, and really is amazing. I would definitely take a look at this if you're looking into a um, small to medium-sized pouch to put some of your things in to organize them. Because uh, this is just, it's just a really neat option. Because it gives you a lot of capability, but it's also very thin. It's lightweight, something that you can throw in the glove box of your car, even. You know, carry uh, as a standalone organizer, throw it inside your backpacks. So like I said, it is so thin, it's not going to take up a whole lot of room, but it's really going to give you a lot of uh, carry capability. So don't take this, this uh, little pouch, admin pouch, for granted. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Of course, for any additional information, or if you're interested in buying this pack, go to www.maxpedition.com, and don't forget to use your coupon code SHERMAN to get an added 10% off. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman614, peace.